Yes, 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 yes. This is Days by Day Sue. First and foremost, I want to thank you for allowing me to show you what they do. Today is a beautiful day. <laughs> First day we didn't have no rain. Uh, it's, it's just lovely. The sun is starting to peek out. I'm riding down to town, Miami, on a beautiful Saturday afternoon. It's 12 noon. A little after 12 And I'm on my way to Julia and Henry Julia and Henry is a, actually a cutlery building That's made for fine dining Here in downtown Miami It just opened up uh, June 3rd of 2023 And when I tell you What I've heard about this place Is it's extraordinary So what I did was I parked at the parking lot right across from Bayfront on Biscayne Boulevard and you see me walking west on Flagler right now the whole anticipation of Flagler is that they're gonna well they have blocked the street off but what's supposed to happen is at night they're gonna have vendors and different stalls music events right here on Flagler on East Flagler and it's supposed to be a whole nightlife thing it's supposed to be an event it's supposed to be something that's supposed to be happening every night and um, it's going to revitalize downtown Miami and bring people off of that beach if you know what I'm saying born and raised here in South Florida and I've seen many different faces of downtown Miami and this is just exciting so as you see right now I'm going into Julia and Henry across right across from the street over there is you can see it's the old theater so it's not too far from this game. And when I tell you the first time, when I walk in here for the first time, the first thing that hits you in the face is the smell. The smell of all of these sweet treats and all of these different chocolates and the smell of cinnamon and vanilla and oh my God. And me, I am hungry. I haven't eaten yet. I haven't had no breakfast and I didn't really eat late yesterday so I'm hungry and I'm looking at my eyeball right now is on that strawberry pastry right there but I'm looking at all the donuts and all the oh it's just amazing so I'm trying to take it all in and what I from this point what I understand is that it's um the fast stuff like the little snacks and the different treats and stuff is on the first floor Everybody greets you with a smile here. So granted, this place opens up at 11 o'clock in the morning. And um, it's like an hour after the, the opening and people are still trying to get their stuff together and trying to, you know, move around. And um, But the vendors are open. They are able to cook for you. Look at over here to the left. Oh, it's a full bar, people. When I tell you, you have a mixologist right on the scene making your favorite drinks. How you doing? Uh, With the meats, is it cooked to order? Yeah, I was asking about the meats here. That was, if it was cooked to order, if it was, um, you pick out your meat and then you go ahead and they they cook it for you. I've never seen that, but you know. Oso is the name of the place. So you can go ahead and place your order and then continue to walk around and then come back and pick up your food. But here are all the different raw meats that you could pick out. Yeah, this is the old Walgreens building. I mean, Walgreens is next door, but this is an extension of the actual big building at 200 East Flagler. It was purchased back in 2018 by the Stumbol devel Development. And they always had plans for it, but it wasn't until last year in 2022 where they said, you know, we're gonna revive this, this building and we had this, this in plan from 2022. The building was actually constructed in 1936. Taking a look at Puffles. Puffles is a, uh, Japanese pastry shop where they put ice cream inside of a cone. So 
I said, let me take the elevator to see what that's like. Oh, and you can see all the bottles from the from the bar as you go up to the building, to the second floor. 59,000 square feet. This building is such a, 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 an epic place to be in. Mm. And it's, they promised to house maybe have 800,000 annually. This is a key lime pie machine that you can just go ahead and vent for 650 and get you a little key lime pie. They got breweries, they got different taco stands here. I wanted to try this place, but really what I heard about was this chicken, chicken, fried chicken sandwich shop. <laughs> this, this amazed me right here that you could actually be on the second floor and look down. So you're walking on a glass floor looking down to the first floor. Kind of freaked me out at first, but once you start looking at the food, you kind of get distracted by the food and you're not really paying attention. Look at this. Look at the vastness of this. The big open area is just lovely. I mean, to just sit here and just watch people watch. If you're into people watching, this is something that you'd probably want to get into. To just sit there and on the rail and eat your food and watch people just go by. Julia and Henry people, taking the name from one of the four founders, two of the four founders here in South Florida, Julia Tuttle and Henry Flag. This is the chicken spot, the fried chicken spot that I was telling you about. They make different fried chicken sandwiches and it looks good. So I'm going to come back here to, to order and that's what I'm going to eat. Looking to the left right now, you see those big windows just overlooking Flagler in downtown Miami looking west. A lot of different Italian type style foods, Italiano, Asian infused, um, some hints of the Caribbean, South American, just it's it's a whole different smorgasbord of different types of foods. So I did a full circle, but I saw the stairs on the other side, so I'm going to speed it up right here so I can take the stairs and go up to the third floor to see what they got to offer. What I do admire is that the glass so it gives you a full 360 of everywhere you're looking. You don't have no obstructions, no walls. So the glass on the floor, the glass on the rails, everywhere. It's like wherever you sit and wherever you stand and, and walk, you could actually see everything that's happening around you. And it just makes the, the space feel so open. They had fermented um, vegetables and stuff here on this restaurant and I was kind of intrigued by that to see what it was so I kind of leaned over but everybody it's, it's a lot of different experiences a lot of different foods a lot of different um, cultures in this building so walking around I had to take a look down to see what it looks like and this is just amazing and I can tell you right now it's, it's still early so it's not as packed as it could be, but this seems like it's the prime time to be here. Right before everybody starts to come in and it gets a little crowded. But it's very laid back. Chinese infused place. If you're into trying different foods, I, I believe this is the place for you. I wanted to eat so much. I was so hungry and I was so anxious to get back to that chicken spot, but I really was just wanted to look around and take a look at and take it all in. And 
what I'm recognizing is that all the condominiums and hotels and people coming off ships and visitors and, and things, that's some of the locals that live here. This is a prime spot for them to just come and eat and enjoy themselves. They don't have to Uber eat stuff. They could just come in here and grab what they want. And just It's only walking distance from Brickell and all of the other condos around the area. So this is perfect. I'm back on the second floor. And what I've heard is that they have a basement area where they have uh, like a podcasting area where you could actually, you know, cook and do a podcast like it has um, kitchens with stoves and ovens and, you know, you could have your private cooking events downstairs on the basement level. So I ordered my chicken sandwich and I'm just sitting here eating and overlooking the rail. So I came on the other side so I could give you a view of the other side. And as you can see, it starts to get a little crowded. People starting to, to mill in. Right now, it's maybe a quarter to one. This is a Saturday afternoon. <laughs> Just so much going on. I, I really don't know which way to go. But I said, let me take these back stairs to see what this is like. They have stairs that loops up on both sides, and the elevator also on the back side. Definitely, if I lived in this area, I would actually be here every day, sampling and eating something different every day. And I would find my perfect food my perfect spot and I would post up there every day <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people in the area that's what they do so after I finish my meal I'm on my way out I'm on the first floor getting ready to go to that um, strawberry pastry that I saw a little earlier and use that as a dessert there it is there she is just sitting there waiting for me She said it was a lemon tart strawberry topping um, pastry and um, that's just something that I, I want to try. It was only like $7. Honestly, if I could have something like that in the morning with my coffee, it would be perfect way to start my day. I wanted it to go, but I really don't want to sit inside because I was on my way out. And I like the fact that she didn't get the pastry from the from the, the display case. She went actually and got it from the tray. So she said it was freshly baked this morning. It was made this morning. So Put it in a nice little box. Lovely. So I just want to take it outside in, in the sun. You can see a lot of people starting to come out and middle around. It's a good place to just have a conversation and hang out with your friends and family. Yeah. Gotta try all the doors. Beautiful day. 
I want to thank everybody for tuning in today by day two as I explore Julia and Henry. The pastry was actually pretty fresh. It's pretty good. The strawberry seemed like it was just picked yesterday. So as you watch me making a pig of myself, again, I would like to thank you for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe. Click the like button, the notification bell, so you could go ahead and get notified when I explore another spot here in South Florida. Thank you.